I have several woodworking projects coming up and I need some way to make it look pretty. And so I've gotten this Craig Jig K4. It uh, is a pocket hole uh, drill set. So I thought I would open it up and uh, bring you along for that experience. So let's do it. Get this thing opened up here. It's got an instructional DVD and some literature. And here's the actual jig itself. And then we've got a box of goodies here. So taking a look at the actual jig itself, it's got this nice handle that will uh, cinch down on a piece of wood. And you can actually um, unscrew this little stopper here and then put the uh, nut back there. And so that's where the piece of wood will go in to be uh, cinched down. Just give an example here. I think most of what I'm going to be using is uh, three quarters, so this will be good here. Yeah, keeps that in place. So anyway, we've also got uh, these depth gauges here um, for you put your uh, uh, drill bit in there and measure out. And so this piece has got nice metal and gauge on there. That's cool. So checking out the other stuff in the box, got this wood that um, fills holes to make it look pretty. A um, bunch of sample screws, got the uh, sleeve and uh, Allen key. I'm not sure what this is yet, but we'll figure it out. This is uh, an extension bit to get these um, special screws put in. Uh, let's see, this piece, I believe, is for, uh, I think, a one inch. Um, let's see if we can get it in there. Yeah, so it, you increase the height on the jig to um, accept a different size wood. And then here should be the bit. Yeah, Ooh, sharp. So it's got that extra little piece down there that's very important. And uh, that's just the size that needs to fit um, into the jig. So let's give this thing a try. Just checking out the instructions here. It says this little golden screw is used to set the depth of this piece. So I'm going to be using um, three quarter. So I've got that lined up here. And I'm just going to put this screw in back here. And that should oops, find a hole that matches that. I was able to get this into a slot here. I'll have to um, play around and make sure that it's at the right spot, but let's move on. So now I'm going to pick the screw that I need to go into three quarter inch wood. And it says the one and a quarter inch screw is what I need. So I've got that. And now we're going to move on to putting the sleeve on this piece here. So I want to cut into three quarter inch wood. So it says align the screw here so that the, uh, the fatter part, uh, sorry, of the bit fits here. And then you make sure that the sleeve back here is stopped at that point. And then tighten that down with this Allen wrench. Now the book has some guidelines for the width of the material and which of these holes to use. Um, I'm not too concerned about that right now because this is just testing with a scrap. So I'm not gonna worry about, you know, if it's two inches you use these two or if it's three inches you use those two or however that uh, works together. So positioning the three quarter right here isn't exactly as nice as I'd like it. Um, when I back this out and put it where you would expect it to be. There's no uh, hole there, so I don't know, it just seems like see, it fits really nice right there below that. We'll give it a try. Okay, so I'm just going to set this piece of wood in here 
and clamp it down nice and tight. Now there are places on here where you can uh, attach this whole device to um, either put it into a vise or strap it to a table. Um, but I'll do that later. So it says stick the bit all the way so it touches the wood and then turn it on full blast and just go through here. So let's give it a try. Yeah, seemed like it was pretty quick. Pull the clamp off, see what we get. All right, didn't go all the way through, so we have to consider that. Not sure if it is even supposed to, but. So let's give this a try and see if we can attach this to our other piece over here. Okay, so I've got this long bit put on here. It is magnetized, that's nice. And I've got uh, this screw that came in the jig here. Now it says to use clamps, but I don't have clamps uh, that I want to pull out for this. So I'm just going to stick this on here and uh, give it a try. So see what we get. Oops. Okay, it is possible to strip that uh, wood, so which is what I just did there. My drill is very strong. Let's see if I can back that out some and give it a slower turn. Yeah. Okay. So I just pushed that a little bit too much in there. Yeah. I'm going to move it over some and try it again. It's good to know, right? These are short screws and you don't want to over tighten. So move it over some and try that again a bit slower. Okay. All right. Okay, that's much better. So yeah, see that? Definitely there's no... Uh, screw showing on the outsides and on the inside you can see it's pretty nice in there so there were several of these along this board it would hold very strong so that's nice well that's exciting i like this little jig um, i spent right at 99 dollars to buy this on amazon uh, i'll put the link in the description if you feel like you would uh, benefit from owning one of these I think what I'm going to do is uh, use a board um, and mount this to it and then uh, also have a piece coming down that I can clamp into a vise. So I can just plop it in the vise, do my work, and then just put it up. So it's not actually mounted to the table all the time. Um, so yeah, that turned out really nice. Um, you definitely want more than one screw to hold something like this together. but. It's a good example. Thanks for watching. I'm Seth Johnson with Land a House. If you liked this video, hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. See you next time. Bye.